Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. Now in my previous video, I discussed about the generation of single sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal using filter method, uh, sorry, the filter method or the frequency discrimination method and phase shift method or the phase discrimination method. We discussed two methods of generation of a single sideband suppressed carrier signal in which only one of the sidebands, either the lower sideband or the upper sideband of an amplitude modulated signal was passed and the carrier and the other sideband was suppressed. So as I said, in this video we will be discussing about the demodulation or the extraction of the original message signal from the single sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal. Okay. This demodulation process is also called as synchronous detection or coherent detection method. Okay. Both are same, just different names. Okay, so let us get started. Now, this is the block diagram for the demodulation of the single sideband suppressed carrier signal using synchronous detection or coherent detection method. Now, as you can see, the main blocks or the things which are involved in this block diagram are first the single sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal. Then we have a carrier signal of unit amplitude cos omega ct where ec is equal to 1, amplitude is equal to 1. Both these signals are fed to the multiplier block. Now the output of the multiplier is fed to a low pass filter having a sharp cutoff frequency. Now this low pass filter actually extracts the message signal from the output of the multiplier. Okay, So you draw this diagram in rough or get a screenshot of it so that we can understand the remaining steps in a better way. Now just to have a quick recap, the single sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal is given by this expression mt cos omega ct plus minus mt cap sin omega ct. Here mt is equal to em cos omega mt and mt cap is equal to em sin omega mt. mt cap is the 90 degree or 90 radian phase shifted message signal. Okay, As both these signals were phase shifted by uh, minus pi by 2 radian so we have cos omega ct sin omega ct and em cos omega mt which is empty and em sin omega mt which is empty cap. So you please uh, uh, check out my video related to SSB generation using filter and phase shift methods so that you understand this video in a better way. Okay. Now. <coughs> The working principle of the synchronous or coherent detection method. Now please refer to the block diagram which you have drawn. Now the inputs to the multiplier are first the single sideband suppressed carrier amplitude modulated signal which is given by mt cos omega ct plus mt cap sin omega ct here we have taken the plus sign okay for calculation purpose we have taken plus sign for simplicity of calculation. And the other input is cos omega ct which is the carrier signal of unit amplitude. Now both these signals are fed to the multiplier. The output of the multiplier is basically the product of these two signals which is mt cos omega ct plus mt cap sin omega ct into cos omega ct which is equal to mt cos square omega ct plus mt cap sin omega ct cos omega ct. Now here these two trigonometric identities are applied. Cos square A is equal to 1 plus cos 2A by 2. This identity is applied for cos square omega Ct so that we get the output as mt into 1 plus cos 2 omega Ct by 2. And this identity 
sin 2a is equal to 2 sin a into cos a is applied here. Here we, we have divided 2 and multiplied it with 2 so that we get 2 sin omega ct into cos omega ct as empty cap by 2 sin 2 omega ct. These two identities have been applied here and here respectively. Now, as you can see here, we have just opened the bracket. So we get the signals or the different terms as empty by 2 plus empty by 2 cos 2 omega ct plus empty cap by 2 sin 2 omega ct. Now we know empty is actually the message signal em cos omega empty. So we replace empty with em cos omega empty. So we get the uh, further simplification of this expression as em cos omega empty by 2 plus em by 2 cos omega empty cos 2 omega ct plus em by 2 sin omega t uh, sin 2 omega ct. Now if you look closely at this expression the term which we are interested in is actually this one em by 2 cos omega empty because the entire objective of demodulation is to extract the message signal. So we need to extract this part, this term em by 2 cos omega empty from this expression. These two terms are useless, they are of no use to us because they are attached with frequency component cos 2 omega ct and sin 2 omega ct. Okay, So they are of no use to us even if the message signal frequency component is present but as they are attached with the frequency component cos 2 omega ct and sin 2 omega ct means 2 omega c it means that the further simplification of this expression will lead to some other signal which will be not be the message signal so they these two terms are of no use to us we are only interested with this part because it, it is directly in the form of the message signal now don't care about this by 2 1 by 2 part itself it does not matter we just want this message signal em cos omega empty part we need to extract this message signal and the objective of the demodulation process will be achieved okay so how it's uh, extracted it's with the help of the low pass filter which has a sharp cutoff frequency okay now the low pass filter is a special filter having a sharp cutoff frequency. Here, the cutoff frequency is set equal to the modulating or message signal frequency omega m. Okay, so in the output expression of the multiplier, that is em by 2 cos omega mt plus em by 2 cos omega mt cos 2 omega ct plus em by 2 sin omega mt sin 2 omega ct, as I said cos it is attached to 2 omega ct and 2 omega ct that is why they are blocked by the low pass filter and this is the message signal which we are interested in consisting of frequency omega m only this frequency component is present. So this is the required message or modulating signal which we want to extract. So this signal is passed as the cutoff frequency is equal to the uh, message signal frequency and these two terms as they are attached with a higher frequency component 2 omega c so they will be blocked by the low pass filter. So the final output of the low pass filter or the entire circuitry is equal to em by 2 cos omega empty which is the required message or modulating signal. So this is the basic concept of demodulation or detection or extraction of the message or modulating signal using uh, from a single sideband suppressed carrier signal using the synchronous or coherent detection method. So I hope you like this video. So please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorials for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, communication and instrumentation engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.